Welcome back guys for more Timberborn. And I'm starting this episode with a big shout out to Cliff, who left a comment on the last video pointing me to an updated version of simple floodgate triggers. And this solves all the problems with bad tides and droughts. Oh, it is an absolute lifesaver. And I've got to say, devs, if you're listening, I mean, I love you to death. I love the game, but damn, the facilities that this mod gives you should be vanilla. They really should. In order to make this work, there's a couple of things that I need to do. The first thing that I need to do is put in some more floodgates. I'm going to put in floodgates behind the existing ones so that they're all linked. Okay. And am I going to put one there? You know what? I'm going to put one there. It, it doesn't need to be there, but I'm just going to put it there for like tidiness. And then the second thing that I need to do is I need to put in a stream gauge. So I need to unlock it. It's 150 science, which I have now. I've got 214 science saved up. And that stream gauge is going to go there. Right. All I've got to do now is put in uh, some stairs over here so that we can actually get to the stream gauge. So let's put some stairs. Actually, I could put the stairs on this side and then we can get to both sides. You know what? That's probably a better idea. So I'm going to put stairs there. I'm going to put uh, put a path in there. Right, let's get this built. Okay, so I'm just waiting on the last floodgate to get built, and this builder should do the job. And there it is. Boom. Okay, now I'm going to pause the game, and thankfully they got it done before the new drought started. That only took them, like, uh, what, three days? Okay, so simple floodgate triggers. How does this work? If we look at this floodgate, and I'm using this one that's next to this uh, stream gauge. This is how we're going to set it up. Basic instructions. When the drought starts, I want the height set to 1, which is going to close the gates. When the drought ends, I'm going to set the height to... Now, I could either set it to 0, or I could set it to 0 0.5. 0 0.5 would allow water in, uh, but it would stop water from flowing out because the level on, on this side is going to be lower. So I think, we're, I think I'm going to go with 0.5. If I set it to zero, then the water would, would flood out initially, and then I'd have to wait for it to, uh, to come in. So that's it for the basic instructions. But we're now going to go to advanced. I'm going to link this stream gauge to this floodgate. So attach stream gauge, boom, done. And now we get all kinds of options on the floodgate. It looks a bit daunting at first, but actually it's pretty straightforward. The stream gauge measures the contamination. So here's what we're going to do. During a drought, obviously there's no bad tide. So I'm going to say disable this during the drought. In the drought, we'll follow the basic rules. When we're not in a drought, then we've got some, uh, some things to set. So let's see. The first few options are all about the height of the water, and you can and you can adjust the height of the floodgate based on the height of the water. But what I'm interested in is the contamination levels. So the contamination low threshold, I'm going to set to one percent. So when cam when contamination is below one percent, i.e. zero, I want to set the height of the gates to zero. Okay, so no contamination, gates open, awesome. And then I'm going to set the contamination high threshold also to 1%. So if there's even a sniff of contamination, we want to close the gates. So set the height above high contamination to 1. Okay, so what this means is when, when bad tide, when bad water comes down here, as soon as it touches this stream gauge, these gates will close. When there's pure water here, these gates will open. And then now we can we can test the drought part in 0.9 of a day. So why don't we uh, why don't we speed this up and let's get onto the drought and see see if this actually works. Right, I've zoomed in nice and close so that you can see we're okay. The drought is approaching any second. Uh, boom! <laughs> oh, it's like magic, isn't it? And now the water level is going to drop. Yeah, we're running on fast. The water level is dropping here, and yet the water is all contained within our reservoir. And that, that's it. That solves all of my problems. Now, there's a bonus to this mod, because not only can you control floodgates, you can also control the behavior of water pumps. And that 
is actually going to be very useful because when, once I get a bit more storage, I'm going to want to stop pumping during the during the, the drought uh, and only pump during the wet season. So yeah, you can see we've got a bunch of uh, bunch of options here, and it's just pause when the drought starts, unpause when uh, when when the temperate starts. So yeah, nice and nice and simple. Okay, with that out of the way, we can now turn our attention to this drought. It's a 12-day drought. We've got 11 days left. It's cycle six, day nine. The droughts are getting longer and more extreme. But, as Spider-Man once said, with great drought comes great micromanagement. <laughs> he did, in that film, where he was in the desert and he was fighting those 12-feet-tall mutant squirrels. I think he dreamed that. I might have dreamt that. It's possible. It is possible. What are we going to do? I tell you what, we're going to go. Uh, we're going to go up here. I'm going to pause this while I plan out some stuff. Look at this. This is a full tile deep of water, and I think we should exploit that, don't you? Yes. There's only room for one pump in here, but I can squeeze another one in if I throw in a platform. You haven't unlocked platforms, Sky. Yeah, I know. I'm going to unlock it now. Look, we've got 342 science to spend. Woohoo! We're swimming in science. I wish we were swimming in water, honestly, <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. So uh, I'm going to slap in a couple of deep water pumps there and there. Okay, good. That's, that's, a, that's a positive start. If we have platforms across there, yeah. And then we have stairs coming down there. Yes, that works. Path going across there, path down there, and join that up to there. Awesome. Okay. Okay, that's going to give us some. That's going to give us some extra water, which is going to be great. Uh, I should probably throw in a storage, shouldn't I? Yeah, I should. Let's throw in a small tank. Let me just pop it in the corner there. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. What, I tell you what, I'm going to do. I'm going to rely on the haulers to bring that water down here. So I'm going to set this to obtain, uh, and this one to obtain as well. So we'll try and get all of our water concentrated down here. That's a good idea. Uh, where are you going to get the wood to do all of this, Sky? Uh, I think here. These are oak trees. These are dead oak trees, which give us eight logs each. That's a lot of wood right there. Okay, two lumberjacks going in there. This lumberjack's working. The only other lumberjack I've got currently is this guy, and there is n there's nothing to do down here. So let's uh, let's get him paused. Let's get the game running. Go. In fact, um, you can run on fast. Oh yeah. I, I have confidence. I have confidence the beavers are going to be able to do this. Uh, let's uh, make this top priority. Yeah, get this one built first. And then this can be... Well, they've, they've already done that one and already got the first lumberjack flag. Now, have I forgotten to put in the cutting areas? No, I haven't. Yes, I have. <laughs> I've got this one done. I haven't done this one. God, dear. How? Like, how is it possible? I mean, you do ask yourself the question, isn't it? How can you do the same thing wrong? every single time and yet i manage i guess it's i guess it's a talent <laughs> well it kind of is <laughs> kind of all right so we've got our cutting area sorted out there now would i like some more wood um i do want to get these trees cut down so i can finish planting the oak trees so i tell you what let's uh, let's have him going for a little while now the the big question is going to be the breeding pods do I turn off the breeding pods? That's a very good question. I've got to say, I'm tempted to turn them off. But, you know, I, I tell you what, I'm going to pause this one and I'm going to leave the other three. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll see how it goes. We'll see. It could be a nightmare disaster, but we'll see. OK, how are we doing? Oh, they've already got the bridge built. Wow, that was fast, guys. I'm very impressed. Oh, did I put the other pump? In? Yeah, they've got to build that first. So I guess, I guess prioritise getting that done, which they are getting done alarmingly quickly. Okay, while they get on with that, we can turn our attention to other things then. Now, I would like to get an industrial complex going. Uh, and this, frankly, is no, 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 I don't like that at all. So I think what I'm going to do, I've been looking at this area up here and I'm thinking that we should put some water wheels in this in this gap here. Yeah. So I was thinking if we put four water wheels across there like that, let's have some platforms going across the back like that. Then we can then we can get out there and build them. 
So let's take a path and bring that in to here. Now, before I hook that up, I want to set these to lowest priority. Yeah, that's a good idea. So set all of those to lowest priority. Uh, do I want to leave these pumps on? That's a very good question. Have they got these built? You know what? Now that we've got these built, we'll set this to water. Uh, I think I'm going to turn these two pumps off for a while. Turn you off, turn you off. Okay. Right, so we've got the we've got the water wheel project going on. I have thought, though, about extending this as a reservoir. And I think now that we've got those pumps in, it's maybe not a bad idea. So uh, how on earth am I going to do this? Uh, landscaping. Floodgates. So I want flood. Now, I need to be really careful that I don't narrow this uh, and restrict the, the, the bad water because it could overflow my floodgates up there, which would be really bad. So I'm thinking I'm thinking to come. Well, maybe maybe from there. Yeah, go on. We'll, we'll give it a try. So I'm thinking like a couple of floodgates there. I'll put one behind so that they're they sink. And, and then just have a... Uh, I need to unlock levies, don't I? Yes. 120 science. Yes. We've still got 335. Our science is going up really quickly. And then... Let's see. Let's see where these go. Uh, this is looking... This is looking pretty good, actually. I, I'm, I'm wondering... Do I, do I have them going... I, no. I'm going to go in front of those. Yeah, I'm going to go in front of those. They've already built that one. <laughs> well done, beavers. Yeah, I think I'm going to go in front like this. And the last one. Boom. Okay. I'm, I'm looking at this and thinking, do I replace that with a, another floodgate? Um, got to say, I'm kind of sort of tempted. I, I might do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have, a, let's have another floodgate in there. Uh, what do I want? Uh, floodgate goes there. Yeah. I, I'm looking at that and thinking, should, I, I should have put a levee there rather than a floodgate or something. That's fine. It's fine. doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, look at this. They've already built t two of the water wheels. Okay. All right. My, they're really cracking on with this. Um, this is the priority, though. We've got 4.4 days left on the drought. How, like, how are we doing? Uh, well, well, we've got water, so that's really good. Uh, population is good. We've got 25 adults. We've got three kids growing up. 28 beavers. Good heavens. We're, we've almost exhausted the wood here. How long till we get some oak trees coming through? That's kind of the big question. Oh, they've, um, they've finished with this. You, well, you might as well stay there because we're going to be getting oak trees. Like 95%. Yeah, we're going to be getting oak trees here. Like literally any day now so let's uh, let's finish planting this up what do i want i want some oak trees there and there 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 and there awesome good job good job how's this water lasting and the answer is it's lasted really well that's great this looks like it's almost gone <laughs> You know, uh, let's see. And there it is. I was, I was thinking maybe I could just pump out a little bit of it before it, before it goes, but it's gone now. Uh, this, this has worked out really well because this keeps most of our crops alive. So we'll leave that alone. Uh, three days. Can we get through the three days? I'm thinking it looks like we probably will get through the next three days. That's really nice. Okay, um, let's get on to building some other stuff. An industrial lumber mill. Let's throw that in there. We want a gear factory or a gear workshop. Let's throw that in there. Now, I'm probably going to want another plank factory, aren't I? Yeah. Well, the, the other plank factory can go there. That's fine. We'll probably bridge the power over this road, over this path. So that's fine. So all I need to do is just um, have a very long shaft. And <laughs> what? As long as I've got a very long shaft, everything will be fine. There you go. There's my long shaft. <laughs> you are bad. You really are. Okay. Now, so that will get us up to the point of getting gears and planks, um, like with some 
some proper water power like when when there's any any water running which seems to be virtually never how are we getting on over here i'm going to prioritize this because this is this is really important they need to get that done they need to get that done as well okay next i think we we need to start looking to the future and the the future for us is dynamite this this reservoir is not very effective at the moment because it's only two-thirds of a tile deep what we really need to do is dynamite this down if we could get this dynamited down to another tile deep so it's like one and two-thirds tiles deep that would be like massive well how are you going to do that sky yeah with great difficulty because they have changed how you make dynamite and i've got to say the game they've made the game more difficult for sure because it used to be all you needed was like a paper factory and a dynamite factory and you're good to go it's much much more difficult now now what you need to do is you need you need bad water you put that into a centrifuge which creates extract and then you use extract to make dynamite and oh let's go over here are our gates open our gates are open which is good news so that worked here comes the water let's have a look the water's flooding into here we still got crops so that's good this lasted and all of our crops turned green again all of our blueberries survived these few crops died but they're going to get instantly replanted that's fine and now we can start pumping water again woohoo okay um, i'm going to slow it down for a second because i think as well as getting this finished which is really important during this during this wet season i want to start pumping a lot more water yeah so we're gonna do it uh water i'm gonna put in another pump there and another pump there okay and then we're gonna start stocking up so what do i want i want storage now i'm, I'm probably gonna put the, the first medium tank in like there so uh maybe maybe i just work on these kind of outside rows for now and get those done okay well let's speed it up again this is still set as the priority so and it is the priority so we'll get that finished and then then they can get to work on the pumps i guess oh man they're they're very thirsty beavers at the moment but there's there's plenty of water coming in so it shouldn't be too much of a problem we've got we've got enough beavers to man all the pumps and we've still got three haulers which is great and look at this now how much power are these producing they are producing a total of 300 and 330 nice so that means we should get from when the other two are in well, let's see it's up to what 350 now so that's like 700 power we we'll probably get a little bit more than that because i think i think it's there's a slightly stronger flow here so yeah like seven between seven and eight hundred i would think something like that okay I, this is still the lower of the priorities okay so how are we going to get some extract look at this we have got bad water source right here so we could put in where are you here's the deep bad water pump uh it's 250 signs we've got 715 right now so do we unlock it i think we do let's unlock it it's going in so huh, we could start pumping bad water and the great thing is because this is a source right here um any water that comes down here is going to get pushed away by this constant source so this is going to be pure bad water which is awesome so how are we going to get across to there we would want platforms like that and then just some stairs well that i've got to say has worked out staggeringly well boom boom all right i like it and that potentially get well that does get us bad water uh we would need some storage wouldn't we i might wait you know until until we can actually build a medium tank there now uh, as great as that is we are going to have to haul that bad water all the way up here to use it which is not great now there is a there is a bad water source up here which flows down here in fact there is bad water like right right here would that would that be a better source of bad water and the drought 
The drought is coming in in three days. Would that be a better source of bad water? I mean, it's a lot closer than down there. Yeah, you know what? I might get this built anyway. Because we... I, 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 I don't know. I don't know how much of this we're going to need, really. I, I'm going to pause building that. Um, I'll let them build that, though. And we'll do... Yeah, go on. We'll, we'll do a bad water pump over here. So... Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. What would I need? Well, that's too high. Uh, you know what? Let's unlock the double platform. I've got 600 science, so I can afford to do it. Let's get a couple of platforms there. And bad water pump goes there. Does that reach? Yes, it does. Okay, so then we'd want to come where? Just across here. I'm just thinking, like, storage. We can put a path down there. We could have, like, loads of tanks right there. So that medium tanks. So that works. That works. Oh, man. Okay, so um, so what would be next, then? Well, you'd want dynamite, wouldn't you? What do we need for the explosives factory? We need 400 science. Well, we've actually got that. But we would need metal blocks. God, they've made it so hard to get dynamite now. So that means we need a smelter. Let's go to metal. What do we need for a smelter? We need gears, planks, scrap metal. Okay. It's 300 science. Okay, well, let's do it. Yes. Yes, let's go and grab that. Flip that around. That's going to go in there. I, sh I should, have done the, should have done the bridging across here, shouldn't I? I should. Okay. Right, so that, that gets us a smelter. Awesome. Oh, you're kidding. We've got a 13-day drought. I didn't even know. See, this is why the automation is so important. I am so focused on talking about this stuff. I don't. I just don't notice the season changes. But look at this. We have got a reservoir. Look at this. We've got a reservoir full of water. We've got two pumps pumping away. We've got a beaver there doing absolutely nothing. So let's uh, let's pause that. These guys have exhausted this area. Pause that one and pause that one. Right, that means well, look at this. We've got loads of oak trees. Right, let's get this lumberjack going. Oh yeah, that is going to supply us with much wood. I'm kind of sort of tempted to put an extra lumberjack down here. I'm going to do it, you know. Like why not capitalize on things that are going well, Sky? It doesn't happen very often. Okay, lumberjack going in there. So we'll have three lumberjacks farming this area. I'm thinking our wood is going to go up pretty darn quick. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my wood is going to go up pretty darn quickly. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> uh, I need to set this to store water, don't I? I've got all of these and I'm not actually doing anything with them. Uh, I'm going to pause these and I'm going to set the rules on these, I think. Pause, 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 pause. Um, yeah, so I'm going to set the rules on all of these to pause when the drought starts and unpause when temperate starts. Okay, that's all of those set. Uh, this this actually needs a path here, doesn't it? I forgot to put the path in. Oh, put the path in. There we go. Awesome. Okay, how much water have we got? Not a great deal. Uh, we've got 10 days of drought to get through, but we do have loads of water over here. And... Yeah, I, I am a little bit worried about the crops, but uh, we'll, we, I, I think we'll probably manage. Now, what I could, what I could do to preserve the crops would be if I got rid of this scientist. Okay, so levies. I've got levies now. <laughs> what I was thinking, if I have like levy there, levy there, I think I've got to sacrifice this tile. Yeah, I'm going to have to do it. Mark that for demolition. Uh, and well, I, am I going to prioritise it? I'm even going to prioritise getting rid of that. Okay, so I need to get the scientist put back in. Scientist. Scientist's going to... Oh, it doesn't go there. Okay, well, it still goes there, though. So that's fine. Okay, how how are you going to get water in there? I'm going to use... Um, what's it called? I think it's called a fluid dump now. Uh, the Fluid dump. We need 250 science. Let's get the 250 science spent. Then flip it around pop it in there right that's going to put water into here 
and that should irrigate a fair amount of this i don't think it will get all the way up let's see uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know, it's going to be close, you know. It might actually irrigate all, the whole crop. That If it does that, my God, that's a result. What do we need to get this finished? We need, we need one plank. Somebody going to bring one? Yes, boom. We have a fluid dump. Now, I need to set this to something. You can set it to water or you can set it to bad water. Obviously, we want it set to water. So, is somebody going to come and, like, bring some water? Probably not until tomorrow. No, they've all gone to sleep. Because they're a bunch of slackers. Come on, get up. Right, bring some water. I want to see this. Yes, there's the water. It fills right up. Oh, man. We have got irrigation over here. That is awesome. Now, that one tile of water will last... Just one tile of water will last... Um, 22 days, which should get us through, like, even the longest drought. Uh, I could do with something similar, like, over here, couldn't I? To, to irrigate these. Maybe. Well, see, if I had dynamite, then I could just dynamite a tile and it would all be good. Okay, so now we can see the effect of the irrigation, of this irrigation tile. And yes, we're irrigating the entire crop and some of the blueberries. That's even better than I'd hoped. How are we doing with the bad water pump? Have they, have, they, have they got to work on this? No, they're not working on this. Oh, because I haven't completed that path. Oh, you lemon. Right, get that path put in. Good. And have they, they've done this bridge over here, haven't they? They have. So we've got that as an option. Now we need some metal, don't we? Yes, we do. Well, I guess this one is the obvious one you know i was i was originally thinking that we would pump the bad water down here and use this as the metal source but this makes so much more sense yeah okay let's get some scrap metal coming in shall we oh hell yeah we want scavenger flag 250 science we're just about staying ahead on the science put it over here uh, and then we want some storage i'm thinking we put in like um a large industrial pile yeah large industrial pile goes in there uh, and we are going to be storing scrap metal oh i'm starting to get <laughs> i'm starting to get very excited about all of this now they're working on the bridge they're building the bridge oh if we can get metal coming in we need uh what do we need scrap metal we need 30 scrap metal to get this built and then we start producing metal blocks once we're producing metal blocks we're starting to get in range of dynamite. Now, there is one other step, and that is we need to turn the bad water into extract. And for that, we need a centrifuge. Now, that thing is a lot of science. Where is it? Uh, it's, it's underwater, isn't it? Here it is, the centrifuge. Yeah, it's 600 science. Oh, <laughs> 30 metal blocks, 40 gears, 60 planks. Okay, but you know what? I mean, there's, there's kind of nothing stopping us apart from just waiting for the science to roll in now. I'm, I hope I don't regret this. <laughs> yes, rip that out, rip the power wheels out, rip everything out, rip it all out. And then uh, we'll, we'll give our haulers something to do by prioritising all of this stuff. There we go. The drought's just ended. So our gates are open. Yes. Are our gates open over here? Yes, they are. Awesome. Where's the water? Here comes the water. Our beavers are, are moist. Oh. What? What have I said? Uh, so, yeah, come on. Come on, water, get down here. We can start pumping. And specifically, we can stop. Yes, we can start producing stuff. That's going to give us the gears to get all of this stuff built. We've got the metal coming in. We can make the metal blocks. We can get the bad water pump made because that needs metal blocks. We can get the explosives factory made. Oh, we're moving in to a new era, the dynamite era. And if you want to see that, yes, you'll have to come back for the next episode. Picture, say goodbye. Bye. Bye, guys. We'll catch you for the next one. Peace out. <laughs>